Hey guys, Capper here. It's Friday, yay, January 31st. And I'm going out to the front of the property to meet the semi driver who's delivering the uh, the demo, the skid steer, the Cat 259D3 high flow. And I also get a Cat heavy duty um, cutter with it as well. It's rated for up to eight inch material. And it is a high flow cutter. I know we've had quite a bit of discussion from the one of my last videos where um, Victor was using a low flow cutter from a just totally different one. So I'm actually going to test out the cat version and uh, see how it works on this machine. So throughout the weekend here, I'll be, uh, if it don't rain all weekend, I'll be putting it to the test and and seeing how it is, how, it, how my back does with it. And... Uh, Oh, look at that, a whole covey of quail. Yes. Um, that's another reason why I leave a lot of areas unbush hogged because of the cover. Because quail are almost getting extinct uh, down here in southern Illinois because everything is being farmed. So anyways, let's check out the new cat skid steer here. All right, I'm spotting a semi driver. And this is... Looking ahead, this is why we got a 40-foot culvert, so we could get semis in here. It's a big old ramp right there. All right, the transport company. The owner is Jeff Metter. And I heard he enjoys Capper Outdoors, so just a, a big shout out, Jeff. Thanks for hauling the stuff. It's a little sloppy out here, but we'll get her done. Boy, that baby's quiet. Quiet. I also got, talked him into sending a power rake. So we could do the driveway. Nice. All right, offloading the power rake. I'm gonna have some grass to patch up here this spring. That's why we got machines though. That's got to be a heavy unit right there, that rock rake. Maybe you wouldn't have locked that thing right away, but safety first. Beautiful. Okay, I was supposed to get the uh, mower with the open end that was rated for 8 inch material, but they didn't have it, I guess. And the, uh, the door I got is just a straight glass door, so they're going to try and swap me out with the bulletproof um, forestry door. So at least even this unit, which is only rated for 3 inch material, at least I could raise it up and cut bushes and stuff if they get me that new door. So uh, we'll see how that goes. I'm going to get to test the traction right away in this soft stuff. Gonna be a little bit tight over there by the gates. I think we'll be I think we're good. Okay, so we're offloaded, but uh, Aaron, who is the sales guy at Fabic Cat, I think he might be like a regional manager also. Aaron, I, I think you owe me lunch on this one, buddy. Rocky, Rocky gives me intel that you're supposed to buy him lunch and you kind of skipped out. So, I bought Rocky lunch and told him to tell you that you probably owe me lunch. But anyways, uh, man, what a good crew so far. I mean, I called uh, Aaron yesterday, the sales, the sales guy I'm working with. I said, hey, can I get a demo? And he said, I'll have one up there tomorrow just like that that was impressive that was really impressive so 
I'm gonna shuffle this stuff around. I'm not sure I'm gonna test much today yet, but definitely this weekend if we don't get rained out, so stay tuned. And Aaron, um, I kinda like steak, lobster, and whiskey. You think that'd be too much? <laughs> All right, cap her out. Okay, got a little bit of a mess to clean up. I'll come up here with the bucket and try and flatten this down the best that I can since it's sloppy winter time and start shuffling these uh, two items back to the barn. Okay, so I'm in the new uh, the cat demo and I can't get the GoPro back there because all these frames are aluminum as far as the window frames. So now i am uh, got the mower deck on and I'm kind of testing that load shift thing. It's, it's on right now so it should be kind of balancing out instead of totally bopping all over the place. It's, it's kind of balancing and I'm at full speed right now. Well, it's small enough here, you could squeeze it in just about anywhere. I'm not sure though if it's gonna satisfy my need for power or not yet. I started doing just a little lifting through the forks on it. And uh, definitely got a little more testing to do on the overall power. I mean, she slows down a little bit when you go up inclines especially you know carrying one of them heavy implements but perhaps they all do that as far as skid steers go you know i'm used to the tractor where it's like all or nothing you know because you're in gear and, and the hydrostat has kind of room to play <laughs> 